Hello, dear students. We are continuing a series of our video lessons. Today, our topic is opinion essay. Opinion essay is a formal piece of essay writing which presents the author's point of view on a particular subject supported by reasons and examples. The opposing viewpoint is also suggested. It goes with arguments that show that it is unconvincing. A successful opinion essay consists of an introduction where the topic and the author's opinion are stated clearly, a main body where viewpoints supported by reasons are presented in several paragraphs. This section has also the opposing viewpoint, which is proved by unconvincing. A conclusion where the main points of the essay are summarized and the author's opinion is restated in other words. So here we can see several useful tips for writing opinion essay. The first tip is decide your opinion as for the topic of discussion. Make a list of viewpoints and reasons supporting your point of view. Write well-developed paragraph. Use linking words and phrases to join the sentences and the paragraphs within the text. Apply the following techniques to start and finish your opinion essay. Address to the reader directly. Start with a quotation. Start with a thought-provoking or rhetorical question. Refer to some striking or unusual facts, ideas or situations. Use the following expressions to give your opinion. As far as I am concerned, I am not convinced that I am or I am not convinced that in my opinion or in my view my opinion is that, you're continuing, I firmly believe, I definitely feel, or I think that, I am inclined to believe that. Basic do's in writing opinion essay. First of all, try to write in formal style. Introduce the topic clearly. State clear topic sentences. Use generalization, use quotations. So basic don'ts in writing an opinion essay, the things that you shouldn't do. Do not use colloquial expressions. Do not use short forms. Do not use emotive vocabulary. Do not use overgeneralization. Do not use statistics without proper referencing and do not give personal examples. So let's look to language for introduction. So here are several phrases you can use. According to, it's often said that, it's often argued that, nowadays we are becoming aware of the fact that, these days it seems that, Recently, we have all become concerned that there is no doubt that. So here we can see an example of introduction. Let me read it for you. According to the older generation, teenagers are lazy, they wear ridiculous clothes, and they are apparently rude to their equals and elders. However, are they really much worse than they used to be a hundred years ago? It seems to me quite the opposite of the truth. The body of the essay. Step 1. So try to brainstorm your ideas first. Positive adjectives and phrases to describe teenagers. Negative adjectives and phrases to describe the teenagers. Hardworking helpful, constructive, caring, 
become successful, have part-time jobs, achieve great things, study a lot. So these all words are to introduce, uh, these all words are used to define the teenagers positively. And here we can see several negative adjectives to define the teenagers. The first is aggressive, disobedient, rebellious, cruel, take drugs and alcohol, get involved in fights, listen to awful music. Step two, think of two or three arguments to support your opinion. Teenagers are purposeful and highly motivated. They achieve great things in sport. They do household chores to help their parents. Example, most of them aim at entering universities and study hard in order to fulfill the task. They are more ambitious than they used to be in the past. Their parents are busy following their career paths and have no energy for keeping their homes. Step 3. Phrases to introduce your personal opinion. I believe that, personally I feel that, it seems to me that, I would argue that, I feel strongly that, I am convinced that, I am greatly in favor of, I am completely opposed to. Step 4. Linking words to introduce arguments. So you can use firstly, secondly, thirdly, moreover, furthermore, in addition, besides. So examples of the second paragraph. Personally, I am convinced that teenagers are misjudged. To begin with, most of them are purposeful and highly motivated. The great majority of school leavers today enter the universities. They also achieve great things in sport and seem to be more ambitious than they used to be in the past. Besides, lots of teens do household chores and their parents are busy following their career paths and have no energy to fulfill their duties. Step 5. Opposite views and counter-arguments. Opponent's arguments. First, teenagers are criticized for having bad habits like taking drugs and alcohol. They are cruel, aggressive and disobedient. So, counter-arguments for these opponent's arguments are The first, they are aware of consequences of such bad habits and very few of them become addicted to drugs and alcohol. So, the counter-argument for the second state, not all of them get involved in fights or break public rules and beha of behavior. Step 6, transitions between paragraphs. However, anyway, Nevertheless, nonetheless, example of the third paragraph. However, teenagers are often criticized for having bad habits like taking drugs and alcohol. In my opinion, most teenagers are aware of consequences of such bad habits and very few of them get addicted to drugs and alcohol. Some people claim that teenagers are cruel, aggressive and disobedient. I feel strongly that it's not fair as not every one gets involved in fights or tends to commit a crime. So conclusion. Step one for the conclusion. Think about the language. To sum up, in conclusion, to conclude can be used as uh, phrasal verbs, as a word expressions to conclude. Can be used as a word expressions to conclude your essay. Step four, step two. Rephrase your opinion. I believe that teenagers are not as bad as they're thought of. Nowadays, teenagers are worse than they used to be. Teenagers are better now than they used to be in past. So let's see the example of conclusion. To sum up, I believe that teenagers are not as bad as they are thought to be. The main reason for such unfair attitude to teenagers is misunderstanding between adults and young people. Very often adults disapprove of their fashion, music and habits. Of course, not all teenagers are ideal, but they are not worse than their parents. So dear students, today we have covered uh, the opinion essay 
and we have covered how to start introduction part, how to start the body paragraph, how to make a counter arguments to the opposite opinion, and how to write a conclusion. We have covered all the transition words which can be useful for you to write an opinion based essay. Thank you for your today's attention. Uh, see you next time. Bye.